Okay, I wanted to share a couple words, um, one from Byron Stirl and another from Stephen Hansen. Um, and then a word that the Lord gave me about a week ago and a couple scriptures. Okay, so Byron uh, received this uh, two days ago, August 16th. Time is near. He shared Obadiah 1, 15 to 16. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. My son, the time is near at hand to be led into a new direction. My warnings have stopped and the judgments have begun. Those in the world will drink from the cup of destruction and drink it all they will. My son, in the last great world war, hundreds of millions of souls were slain. In the next great world war, billions of souls will be slain. For what, you ask, billions will perish because man wants to be a god or to be God. The sinful nat nature of man wants to still eat of the tree that Satan had used as a tool to get man to rebel against me. This cup of vile filthiness is what appeals to the unrepentant man. Many people will fall away from the faith, believing the words of false prophets and the parlor tricks they perform. Did I not say in my word that in the last days, deception will run amok and lead many down the wrong path? That is why I say, stay in my word and you will not be deceived. Prove all things by my word. Pray over all things. Do not be deceived. My son, many of my remnant grow impatient for something to happen. I say again, do not be in a hurry to see the destruction, for when it starts, it will not stop. My remnant, you must you have your house in order, for the time is near at hand. The king of the land is leading many of the people away from the truth. He is a liar, yet my people are believing the lie. When the dollar dies, so will this nation, and it will be too late to stop the fall. What was will be again. There is nothing new under the sun. Hitler was a boy scout compared to the one that is coming who will make war on the saints and overcome them. Millions will be billions. Blood will flow, and there will be no place to put all the corpses. My son, I love my people. I love my body. I love my remnant. I love the world, but I hate sin, and judgment is here. Continue to sound the alarms. Continue to shout repent. Continue to pray for the lost. I am coming soon. The time is near. Messiah Jesus. Okay, and then Stephen Hansen wrote yesterday, August 17th, um, those who endure to the end will be saved. And he used Isaiah. 19 and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when the, he arises to shake terribly the earth and Matthew 24 13 but he that in, shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved sorry if you hear my two of the dogs play play fighting in the background <laughs> okay the word that he got was will you come to me on this day says the Lord Will you come to me no matter what you may think or feel? Will you come to me when the skies are cloudy? Will you come to me when you are downcast? For many come to me only when there is trouble ensuing. They come to me to deliver them from their troubles. And yet, when all is well, very few come to me because they think that trouble will not come to them again. But I tell you that this world is filled with trouble. Trouble has been birthed ever since the time of the fall of man. I have said that the rain falls on the just and unjust, and troubles come when you least expect it. The world is racing towards judgment, and I tell you that judgment has begun on your nation. There will be no escaping the judgment that comes, for men and women will hide their faces from the ensuing judgment that comes, for the time of Jacob's trouble is nearly upon you. Where will you run to hide it? to hide to on that day? Will you run to your nearest congressman? Perhaps your military will help you. I tell you that you won't have enough guns to save you on that day. You may think that digging a hole in the ground will save you on that day, but 
but I tell you that the battle will shake the very ground, and those that think that they can hide on that day will not escape from it. The one doomed for perdition will come, and many will give into the beast system, but those who endure until the end will be saved. I will give them the strength to endure those days through those through these days. They will be met with great resistance, but my wisdom will be poured out upon them, and they will do great feats and their eyes will shine like the stars above, even Hansen. And I wanted to share the word um, that he gave me a week ago, maybe about 10 days ago. I didn't write, I don't even know if I wrote that down in my book, but um, because what um, he wrote in the word here, um, my wisdom will be poured out upon them and they will and they will do great feats and their eyes will shine like stars above um, and they will do great feats. The Lord gave me the word. Um, he told me about, I don't know, seven to 10 days ago, he said, you will do great things and referring to the days coming ahead and how he'll work through me as well as, the others that are faithful. Um, so I know that no matter what comes, the Lord will be with me and he will, he will work through me. Amen. Um, and before he gave me that word, before I awoke, um, he gave me, I had a few different dreams, but the one dream I had, I was protecting children um, and there was some other, there was some grown people, but a lot of kids, um, I was protecting the children and feeding them. So physically feeding them and physically protecting them, um, from getting taken and, or hurt from others. And even when we, um, were getting shot out by other people, um, we, we weren't injured or killed by, by the bullets. Um, so the Lord was supernaturally protecting us. And this happened after, um, right before I was picking up the children and trying to run off with them. And they were like dirty and hungry. And um, some of them had been abandoned or the parents had been killed, you know. So I was helping these children. Um, before I picked them up, I looked at my hand, my right hand, because, um, what's the date today? Saturday. So two weeks and a day ago, um, would have been like on the, the 5th of August. I was out in my garden and it's on the side of the house. And, um, I started to trip on the hose that goes back there that we have to water everything. And um, just like not trip, trip, like fall on my face, but I started to lose my balance from the stepping over the hose rung. And so I leaned out my hand <laughs> to catch myself on the, you know, on the fence on the other side of the garden boxes. And um, my hand went right onto a screw that was sticking out like an inch and a half from the other person's yard, like, they had put up some lattice on the top of the fence um, and her handyman used screws that were way too long. So they were sticking out on my side. So they're not very old screws, but it did like, since it was a screw, it really went into my the palm of my hand, um, side of my palm. Thank goodness, not the thumb side, but the other side. <laughs> and it was bleeding and I soaked it for like a half hour in peroxide and water and then I took care of it, but I didn't get a re didn't renew a tetanus shot <laughs> and I'm still fine, but it still has a little bit of a scab on the very center. It's been healing from the inside out, but still the new skin around the center where the scab still is, is pink, like light pink because it's new skin and the very center still has a scab on it. Well, in this dream when I was protecting these children and um, 
you know, helping them, the, that um, wound on my hand was completely healed already. And it was just a small, smaller than the pink uh, circle is now, because it's like about a third of an inch, maybe. Maybe, yeah, about a little more than a quarter of an inch wide. Um, the scar was not pink anymore. It was just white and it was smaller. So um, whenever this wound is completely healed and it looks white instead of pink, after that is when this this occurred where we were held, I was being used to help these people. And then the Lord told me, you will do great things. And I wanted to share scripture. Um, this is where he led me to share John 14, 12 to 14. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. So the Lord is truly um, loving and gracious and powerful. And, you know, he left, Jesus had to leave. Um, he says, because I go to the Father, um, which allowed the Holy Spirit to be sent. And he tells us here in John, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. So we can, you know, the Lord will give us that power by his Holy Spirit to do awesome things. And he tells us, and they will do even greater things than these. So I believe in the end times, and we know that, that the Lord is going to work miraculously through those that are faithful. And I'm blessed and honored that he'll use me. Uh, and so his will, not my will, be done. And then a couple times in there, in the words from Byron and um, Stephen here, uh, I think Stephen's word, where it says that, um, hold on. The world is racing towards judgment. It says there will be trouble. But one of them said, hold on. I'll try to find what I was looking at um, and share that in a different video. All right, God bless.